Hello everyone, my name is Richard. I'm here with Stephanie and we're going to take her through a nice little runner's workout, get the glutes, get the hips firing, all that stuff good. So when she's out there doing her 10, 15K run, she's running effortlessly. You ready? Yes. Okay, let's do it. Let's start off on your back first. Mm -hmm. Okay, lay all the way down onto the mat. And let's put your feet into the, into the straps. Okay, lay all the way back. Okay, you're gonna do 20 bridges up and down with your stomach and butt. Okay, so scoot back a tad, there you go. Okay, lift your stomach and butt up in the air, there you go. One, good. Two, three, four, five. Okay, now you see how she's drawing her stomach in and she's squeezing the glutes all the way throughout her movement. Now can you just relax your shoulders down just a tad? There you go, so palms up, I think give you the best give you the best opportunity to do that. Are you feeling this in your glutes? Yeah. <laughs> and come on, keep on driving with your hips. Really open up that part of your body. So she's going to open up her hips in the frontal plane or the sagittal plane, and this is good for running because this is where you run, especially when you're doing straight ahead runs. This is the plane that you're running in. Okay, come on up. Yep, come on up to your feet. Okay, now let's get the abductors working. As we get the abductors working, we're getting the glutes also firing too. So take off a handle and put it onto the black band at the very, very bottom. Okay, right here we got the black band. So that's the intermediate band. So it's medium intensity, not too heavy intensity. And this is good for her. Just because we're just starting to warm up. We just want to get those abductors working and her glutes fire. So let's go out to the side like so. Okay, good. Let's make this a time drill. 30 seconds on the clock. Flex the foot like that, and I get the glutes firing a little bit more. Okay, let's, let's power it out. Okay, you're going to constantly draw your stomach in. And not only is she working on that left leg, she's working on the right leg, the standing leg. And that's very important for her gait. So when she's running, she has good stability on that standing leg. Okay, five more seconds. and switch sides, good. Okay, take off. Did you feel that in the, in the abductors and the glutes on that right, on that left leg? Yes. Okay, and what about the standing leg? Did you feel it on the standing leg also? Awesome. Uh, okay, let's go, let's go for it. We're gonna get her ready for the LA Marathon. I don't know, I don't know if she's ready for that. But just, you know, working on the muscles, making sure that her hips are functioning properly is very important for runners. I know all runners want to do is get out there and run, run, run. But without the conditioning and the strength training that, that like, the bands and the suspension straps can provide with you, you know, you're just setting yourself up for injuries and more setbacks. So let's, let's treat running as a complete package, you know. Condition your body, condition your muscles, and then go out there and do the road work. And break, that's it. Take it off. Okay, now we're gonna put put the put the handles on the suspension straps. Okay, I'm gonna take it through a lunge matrix. So we're gonna lunge in every plane, frontal, sagittal, and transverse, or just front, side, and twist in motion. So when you're out there running, your hips and your legs are doing all those things at once. So first face face the face the LR device. So as she's facing the LR device, she's gonna come back for a lunge like so. Okay, with the same leg, come up to her knees, I mean to her chest, then go out to the side. Then come back up to her chest. Now turn out. No, left leg straight. Okay, left leg straight on the last two. So let's do that again. Nope, left leg straight. There you go. Okay. There you go, voila. Okay, go. That's one of five. Okay, go step back. Knee to the chest. Out to the side, leg straight. Knee to the chest. And then out. Beautiful. No, 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 there, there, there you go. And that's two of five. Okay, let's keep it going. Pick up your speed like you're running out there. Three or five. I heard something crack there. Is that all good? <laughs> yes, okay. No pain anywhere, do you? Yeah. If you feel any pain, make sure you stop right away. That's always the number one indicator that you know something ain't right. You know, you're, you're getting feedback from your muscles to your brain that, you know, it's time to take a little break. But you know, sometimes you hear a little crack, snap, crackle, and pop. That's fairly normal. You have synovial fluids 
in, in, in your joints and whatnot. And so sometimes you just need a little lubrication. One of the best ways to lubricate is through motion. So get those joints moving. If the joints aren't moving, you know, you're losing them. Okay, good. Let's do the other side. And there you go. Let's power up. Let's go faster. Oh, no, no. Other way, other way. There you go. Good. And that's a good variation what she's doing if she wants to go, if she wants to go that way. Nope. I'm sorry. Left. There you go. Two. <laughs> Once again, you see how her stomach is drawn in and she's squeezing her glutes all the way through. So she's making a nice neutral spine all the way through. So she's not putting strain in her lower back at all and she's not putting strain into her knees. Okay, two more, let's go through it. Okay, last two. and break. Okay, good job. Okay, now let's go to the bands again. So take off one handle and connect the handle to the black, the blue and red band. Blue and red, yeah, so that's the medium, I mean the, small, the lowest intensity and that's the most intense. And she's, getting, she's going for two, two bands. Okay. So let's, we're gonna add a row. So your arms are also very important in your running. This determines everything, your arms, 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 arms. So we're gonna treat you like you're running. So just like this, and you're just gonna row like that. Beautiful. So that's just a beautiful runners. This is what we're doing when we're running. So we're not only running with our legs, we're also running with our back muscles and our arms. That's pulling us into our next stride. That's improving our gait. Okay, let's go for 30 seconds on the clock. You're doing excellent. Go ahead and try to be light with your feet. Excellent work. Constantly draw your stomach in and squeeze your glutes. And try to stand more upright. There you go. And change, other side. Let's pick it up. Pick up your speed. There you go, you got it. Almost. One. Two. Can we stand taller? Draw, draw the elbow all the way back, use that arm. There you go. You see how that propels you into your next stride? Use those arms, that's a very important part, and break. Okay, good, let's go back to our lunge matrix. Back to the straps. Nope. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There you go. Okay, so lunge like this. Knee all the way to the chest, then out to the side. Then out to a twisting lunge. Excellent work. One. So now we're just teaching our hips how to move in every plane of motion. And that's very important when you're out there running, especially if you're not running on a treadmill, you're out there running in the wild, doing trail runs. You got all different types of terrain, so your hips got to be prepared for all types of movement in every different plane. and switch legs, perfect form, pitch perfect. Okay, good, pick up your speed. There you go, excellent control. And also runners, find a lot of control in your hips and your core, you know. You're just not plopping down, you're not putting strain on your knees, you're not putting strain on your ankles, or strain on your lower back or even up into your neck. You're having your core control you, so your core is absorbing shock in your body. So when you're running, you're not putting too much force on your body. So you're running effortlessly. You're becoming, you're becoming just like a, like a wheel. Okay, keep that right leg straight. And think of your core and your glutes and your hips as kind of like your shock, your, your suspension, your shocks. And break. Okay, good. Okay, let's do the Let's do the row again. And once again, we connect to the blue and the red, which, is, which are the easy 
and the hardest bands combined to one point. Yeah, how you doing, Steph? You good? I'm good. Okay. Let's go. And let's whip it. 30 seconds on the clock. I'm going to pick up your speed. You're not tired, are you? <laughs> A, little <bit. laughs> A little bit. Okay. So I don't want to see it on your face, though. Let's just, just keep, keep, the fa keep the face calm. Keep your, keep your breath calm. So make sure you're breathing deep from your diaphragm. Breathing is most important when you're running. A lot of times people get tired not because their body's actually fatigued, but because they're hyperventilating. They're not breathing deep enough. So I want you to breathe from your deep from your diaphragm. Okay, and change sides. And break. Good. And let's just bring home all the one exercise. So let's go back to the suspension straps. We're going to do one set here. Okay, so you can grab both straps, face the wall. And all you're going to do is like this. You're going to do a single leg squat to a knee raise, okay? Okay, you got 30 seconds on each side. Beautiful work. Okay, light on your feet. Okay. So she's just teaching her body how to rebound, how to how to rebound to explode using the glutes, using the hips as a spring action. She's just she's getting up there. She's ready. And this is good both for short distance runners and long distance runners, especially if you're a short distance runner, you want to explode off the blocks. This is what she's doing right here. You focus on your breathing. And change, 30 seconds last side. Focus on your breathing, dig deep, Steph. Let's go. Once again, you see her spine is neutral. She's drawing her stomach in. She's maintaining that neutral spine to not to, to, to alleviate any pressure in the low back and in the knees. Okay, five more seconds. Power through it. And break. Okay, Steph. We all set for today. How do you feel? Oh, <laughs> Okay. Okay. Good. Good. Thank you very much. Thank you for tuning in to Limitless Resistance. Hopefully that will help you runners and you, your avid and professional runners get more, get their body more tuned up, get the hips going, get the glutes firing and prevent injuries. And so you're out there running longer. Thank you, Thank Stephanie. You. Thank you. Bye.